Good morning, everyone. I just woke up. I'm in Rhode Island, Greece. I'm here for a little relaxy, relaxation holiday. Relaxation holiday? Is that even English? A relaxing holiday. Because y'all know when I am traveling, I just want to do all the touristy things. I want to see the city. I want to know what's going on, do all the activities. But before winter arrives in the UK, I thought I'd do a quick getaway somewhere warm. And yeah, here I am. My view is absolutely stunning. I wish you guys could see this. Actually, I'll, I will show you. I'll turn the camera around. I uh, just forgot that I, uh, I have the power to do that. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just going to go get some breakfast. They do do breakfast at the place I'm staying, but I want to go and just explore the little town here. I'm staying in Lindos, which is, I think, south of the island road. We drove for like an hour um, last night. So anyways, I will show you a quick room too. I think I already did that in the other video. But anyways, I'll show you my view right now. <laughs> so this is the view right from my bedroom window. The bar is like right there and the pool is like right there. And there's this mountain just around the side. So I'm just walking to Rhodes Village now from my hotel. Uh, priority number one is to get a hat because this sun is a no joke. I'm not going to last without shades and a hat. But it's beautiful. The villas behind me, like up there. And there's like goats up in the mountain as well. Ah, so beautiful. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in spring. My summer wine is really made from all. So I just got done with breakfast, not sure why I had two espressos, but um, I did and I'm very, very amped up now and I kind of made my way to the Acropolis, it's just up there, but it's way too hot for me to be climbing right now, so I'm going to do it tomorrow morning instead. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep wandering around the shops and then, and then probably head back to the hotel. All these people huffing and puffing to get up to the Acropolis. Τα κινητά τα έχει καλά με την τεχνολογία. This is honestly just surreal. Look at the water. Look how blue that is. And over there, 
I think it's Turkey. It's such a nice day, like it's not too hot. Um, just perfect temperature. Everyone's so freaking happy and nice. The Greek people, oh my God, they're so freaking nice. And yeah, I'm just so happy like wandering around here. Um, I'm very like amped up though, because of those two coffees. I think I might go down and I don't know if I'll have a swim now or wait till tomorrow and like have tomorrow as like a beach day. But this place is just unreal. One thing I've noticed though, like there's cats everywhere. Like there's stray cats everywhere and people like leave food and like pots of water and stuff out for them which I think is cool but I don't know do all cats have rabies <laughs> or rabi is that plural for rabies anyways I'm just talking shit uh, I'm gonna go take some photos and yeah for hours now taking photos looking at um, all the different shops and I'm gonna go find a, a rooftop and have a cocktail because your girl is hot and hungry but I also really want to buy a dress I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna be in a dress mood I didn't buy that many dresses today so let's see what we get up to You guys, I was at that rooftop for time. Like I seriously spent two hours on there, but also that journey went straight to my head. Um, I did a little bit of shopping. I got this really cute dress, which I'm excited to wear to the beach tomorrow. And I'm gonna walk back to the hotel and go in the pool, chill out for a little bit. And then tonight there's like some Greek dancing slash Greek night at my um, accommodation. So that's what we're gonna get up to. And I'm gonna do the Acropolis tomorrow. I do like a whole beach day thing. But yeah, see you soon. These views are just stunning. They're so overwhelmed. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world right now. <sighs> nah, no, I can't lie. I've been walking from all the way down there. Feels like I'm back in Africa. Just quickly changed. Going to the pool. Gonna have a little reading sesh by the pool.
Good morning, it's the next day. I am just rushing over to go watch the sunrise. Um, there's like a really nice view of the Acropolis about seven, eight minutes from here. I was a little bit late, but still the views were amazing. And I'm just sitting here for a little bit. Um, just so quiet, so peaceful. I love looking at all the lights on, like in the houses. Like it's just so, so cute. Um, yeah, the houses just looks, all the village just looks so pretty with all the lights still on. Um, yeah, just a lovely, lovely little town. So I've just got changed and I am heading to get some breakfast. Oh my god, there's cats everywhere. Um, heading to get some breakfast, coffee, of course. And then I'm going to go down to the beach and have like a massive beach day and like read as much of my book as possible. Like I just need to relax because me, I just want to do things all the time. See what there is to see, do what there is to do, but... I really just need this time to um, just rejuvenate, really. Anyways, this is my fit. I chained like six times before I left. Anyways, let's do this team. Way to happen.
I've just come up to this restaurant down from the beach um, to have some lunch and I got like a lamb grills plate um, it's got what chips lamb pita tzatziki and I ordered this thing it's called an uzu apparently it's like a great drink it's nasty Yo, it is nasty. I tasted that shit. I was like, oh my god, get that out of me. Kind of tastes like um mouthwash, but the other guy was like, oh no, you should try it, you should try it. And yeah, so now I've spent five euros on that, which I don't even like. Kind of tastes like, I don't know, like poison or something. It's got this like really distinct, potent flavor. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my lovely meal. And then I'm gonna walk back to the hotel, get changed, and then I'm gonna hike up to the Acropolis for the sunset and then go to dinner tonight. changed it's about 10 past or quarter past five and i'm doing some seriously high speed walking to try to get to acropolis in time because the sunset's apparently at 6 30 or 6 28 and it takes me 20 minutes to walk then apparently it's like a 30 minute hike up so either i'm gonna have to do some speed hiking walking or the sunset's gonna have to just wait for me because i'm not about to uh miss this Of course I made it. I got a little bit lost, but it only took me like 20 minutes. I don't know why all these people are saying it takes forever to hike up.
Hello from my last morning in Rhodes slash Lindos. Um, I'm just out by the pool bar. I've ordered a coffee. I was going to do some work on my laptop, but my laptop was dead. Anyway, so I'm um, just chilling out by the pool and I thought I'd have a quick little chat because I feel like I very much just did not talk that much in this vlog. But um, I want to talk a little bit about solo travel. I met somebody yesterday at um, that cafe. Um, and she, I know it's really loud, I'll just wait for these motorcycles to pass. I met a lady yesterday at the breakfast place and she was like, how do you find solo traveling? And I don't really know what to say because for me, like it's just such a, a normal thing right now. Like because I've moved over from Australia to the UK that I did all of that like alone. Um, and I've traveled what a couple of places now by myself. I do spend a lot of time alone that it feels very, very normal to me. Um, and I guess if you've never done that before, fellow so traveling can feel like something that's super intimidating. And um, yeah, there's that element of it where mentally you're like, do people think I'm gonna be weird? Um, like, do I look like a loser? Or I don't even know. I don't know if that's what people think. Maybe that is what people think. Is that what you think? I don't know. That's not how I think of it. I think it's just the judgment that comes with it. I think there's people worry about solo traveling because they feel judged for doing it. Um, but you can't let that stop you from doing something that you want to do. You're going to be judged either way. The way I see it, of course, I would love to travel with other people, but I've just never been in a space where I've had friends that want to go either go to the countries that I want to go to or can go at the time that I want to go to or um, I don't even have that many friends. I don't know any friends in Europe. In Europe, I do now that I've moved to the UK. But before then, like it's not like I could just go visit and travel, a, go visit a friend and travel to a different country because of a friend. Like I just don't know that many people in the world. So I'm not just gonna wait around for other people to do the things that I want to do. That's how I see it. Um, but also, you're not the first person to travel by themselves, especially if you stay in hostels. That's probably the best way to start solo traveling is to start staying, start with staying in hostels because in hostels most people there are traveling by themselves and you automatically get, um, you know, put in an environment where you can make friends and meet people, meet people and then go off and do things with them. This is the first time I've been staying in like in a hotel, so I have spent the majority of the time by myself. I haven't met that many people except for the people that I chat to when I'm at restaurants or hiking or um, like just out and about. And I think it's really important. You get to make a lot of um, decisions by yourself. It really challenges you in that way. You have to uh, put yourself out there. Um, it really, really does help build your confidence, helps you become more interactive. It's really funny because if I spent like a lot of time um, like by myself, I tend to, once I meet someone, I tend to just like rattle off talking and I realize like after like the interaction, I'm like, damn, did I really talk that much? I was like, I really, really do need to talk to people, but um, in small doses, in small doses because I do find that people tend to, some people tend to be draining. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is just to encourage you to go solo traveling if you want to. Um, don't allow the judgment from other people to stop you. Obviously, there's um, you know appropriate measures that you have to put in place to be safe. Um, and I mean, that's a whole other like tips and tricks video about how to solo travel like um, well. But this is just more to encourage you to do it if it's something that you've been considering. It's your life. You only get to do this thing one time if there's no reincarnation, rebirth, um, afterlife thing. So you have to make the most of it. You come here by yourself, you're gonna leave by yourself. You know, you can't sit around and wait for other people. If I sat around and wait for other people to be ready, I would, yeah, I would still be just, probably still living with my parents, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, still living with my parents, not having travelled anywhere. Um, yeah, you have to do the things that you want to do because other people may never be ready. They may never be ready. So what then? You would have wasted your time. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful world out there. Lots of things to do, lots of places to see it if you really want to go do it. Do it, obviously, do it safely, especially as a woman. And I'm someone who's super um, 
guess like hyper hyper vigil vigilant that I would say I probably am a bit more cautious than the average person so yeah there is a way to do it safely and sometimes you have to spend a little bit more money to do it safely but it's worth it right anyways I feel a little these braids are like really really big but then they also look nice once you get to see like the blonde of it so I'm gonna eat my breakfast once it arrives and then do some work on my laptop some reflection some thinking something that Sally travel sort of really really encourages you to do and um, yeah I'll talk to you soon okay how did I get so much food wow all this for one person One person. Oh my god. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in spring. My summer wine is really made from all.